This man is tired. This man wants to leave you now. That's true. That's eh? what I told myself what I will do today. Even I told her. You told her? Eh, I told her. That today I will not, I will well, not go back home. She doesn't have the truth. Yeah, she doesn't have the truth. She's always lying. That's why you're tired. Yeah. I tried to speak to her. It's almost six months now. And sometimes when you speak with her, she's like she's not hearing you. It's true. It's true. <laughs> she knows how to ignore you. She's th it's true. It's true, eh? man of God. It's true. You're, you're I'm speaking, tired. When you're busy, you're yeah, talking, talking. She, she just better. leave here. Yeah. And sometimes she stood up and she left. Yeah. Last, last, last week, uh, Saturday, <laughs> I, I was involved in a car accident. I could, not, I could not walk. I was using some crutches. I even left home by 1 o'clock a.m. You know, when you, you love a person, you must not do unnecessary. That's the mistake you have done. You have spoiled this woman. You, 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 do, you did things that everybody was questioning you because of the love you had to this woman. Yes, it's true. But in return, she, sees, she thought you are worshipping her. Ish. So that's why you are facing all this problem. Ish. Sometimes she speak, you just left you. Yeah, it's true. It's like and I'm also a, you have fallen to zero. I've fallen to zero. So now you're no longer having that. Because when she, she loved you, she was seeing you have one, two, three. Yes, yes, yes. Now you don't have anything. What is she going to do? She must show you. Ish. And she have, you have got many friends, you see? Mm. You have got too many friends. And these friends are the ones who are confusing you. Huh? Yes. And they are telling you, leave this man. And you are listening to them. So you must stand with your husband. You leave this man, this man will prosper again. You don't need to love a person because of money. This money will come and go. You understand? Yeah. Uh, it mm -hmm. will come and go. The way you are doing to this man, this man wants to leave you today. Yes, that's he true. Told, he told himself that if I won't speak with him, it's over. It's true. Mm -hmm. That's what he told you. Yeah. I told and her outside. He told her outside. Yeah. So can you see that you must really repent mm -hmm. and humble yourself. This man did many things for you. He did many things, this man. He's tired. Many people, you see, now he's, he's please lift him up. He's crying because he did a law, he did everything. And this lady, she's like this, the way she is. She's just like, like now you can see her husband is crying. You know, a true, a true wife, when the husband cry, she'll cry. It's not true. Yeah. But herself, you see the husband is crying. He just say, <laughs> Even some people here are crying. You know, in relationship, if you find a woman loving you when you don't have anything, ah, it's the right woman. If you find, are you hearing me? If you find a woman loving you, the right state of searching for a wife is when you've got empty. So that when you, when you are blessed, you'll be able to take everything to your, to your wife. But look at this woman. Many friends. This woman is something else. She needs to ask forgiveness before God so that these people who are attacking her because there are people who are attacking here, they are calling this marriage useless. You understand? And then also there are brothers who are searching for her now. She can kneel down and ask forgiveness. God will restore her heart again of love. Do you want to ask God forgiveness? Yes. Eh? Yes. Mm. Because you, your husband is useless. You can make him useful again before God. By kneeling down, you can kneel down and ask God forgiveness. Because no, you face your husband, you tell your husband. Don't kneel before God if you can't kneel before your husband. I'm sure you understand that. If you can't kneel before your husband, you don't kneel before God. Because some of you, you kneel before a pastor, but you can't kneel before your husband. I mean, I don't understand people. Some of you, you call me daddy, daddy, but you can't call your husband daddy. 
When, when you reach home, you, your husband is James. You, you just say, hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> Even now, your children now. That's why some people, when you call, call me daddy, I feel like I can clap you. Because at home, even your father, you can't even call daddy, mama, your parents. You can't even say that. Your husband also is just, you just say, hey, Marcos, Marcos, itamo. Even your child now. Look at your child. But Marcos and your husband. What you are teaching your child is that child will grow up disrespecting you. Look what you're doing. How you disrespect your parents, your husband. And I can't call my wife. She can ask her. I call her, Mama. Where are you, Mama? Woman. You can ask anybody here. She will call me Daddy. No names. Let's respect one another. If you want to live long, respect those who are older than you. You are not doing it for them, you are doing it for God. So let's hear my sister. What are you saying, sister, to your husband? This man, I don't want him to leave you because you'll be surprised your friend is the one who will take over now. These people who are friends, they normally say, yeah, Munaki. Let's hear, Ceci. Kerman <laughs> My brother, lift your wife if you are forgiving her. Forgive your wife. Man of God, I don't trust her anymore. I didn't hear you. I don't, I don't trust her anymore. Why you say you don't trust her? She did a lot and I asked her before. Before every secret can be revealed, I asked her before. She denied everything. Remember, we are before God. She's before God now. Amen. And she's asking forgiveness before God. Mm -hmm. And it's God who convicts her heart. It's not you, it's not me. You understand? Okay, man of God. Yes. You, you need to forgive her. All right. She's your wife. It is true, she has hated you. There's a lot. But you need to really forgive with your wife. Are you hearing that? Amen. Yes. Yes. What are you saying? I forgive him in front. Lift your wife. Lift your wife. You, you hug your wife. You kiss her. Hug your wife. Hug your wife. Kiss your wife. So forgive your wife. If there's anything you can find from today, just say, I've forgiven my wife. She has asked forgiveness. Are you hearing that? Amen. Amen. Well, my brother. Eh? Eh, because there's a lot of problems. There's a lot. Even your wife was tired. She wanted to leave you. So when you wanted to leave your wife, even your wife wanted to leave you. So now you people now, uh, you exchange phone. You deal with these people who are entering your phone, who's supposed to make you to be separated, so that you stand together. Because once we are like this, there are many enemies who come to destroy the marriage. You can be surprised. Like when my brother, your wife is not so much beautiful. But you'll be surprised people are searching for your wife. And you question why. My brother, you are not so handsome. But you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised the ladies are coming around you. I'm going to you, my brother. Amen. Huh? Yeah, well, man, of so, are you hearing my sister? Yes. So, now all these people who are coming around you, people cut them, all of them, you stand together, 
you carry on as a husband and a wife. You are Amen. going to enjoy marriage from today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. You can go back and sit down. Yeah. How do you feel, sister? How do you feel? I am feeling fine, sir. Huh? What about you? I'm feeling fine, man of God, but there is another one that is left, like in a mine. Huh? We've got a business in a mine. No, that's how you people from today, you are going to prosper. Okay. What Satan was doing was to separate you. Okay. So that you suspect each other. Okay. From there, they block everything. You are going to make it, all of you. Amen. And uh, there is money that is coming to you. I, There's I a money see. that you're going to because receive. God okay. wants to make you a very big man. Yes, because I used to do charity. It was. I know. Yes. I know your heart. Okay. You love people. Mm. You love to take care. Yeah. So you have not lost anything. There's a money that is coming to you. I you understand? Mm. And God wants to bless you in a very shocking way. I, I, I can see money. I receive money of God. God bless you. Mm. Yeah. You must know. Look at my wife there. Already she's very old. Look at myself. But what Satan will do, normally he bring people. He bring people to us. Look at myself. What, what more do I want? How can, how can you say you want something in this age? But Satan will bring people. Even my wife, she will tell me that when she's walking in the mall like this, there will be this brother say, sorry, Ceci. Sorry. I say, we're not sorry, Ceci. Sorry, Ceci, we're not. So I thought, I even say one day she will go to the mall. Come, shalom, <laughs> rah. <laughs> oh, Ceci, Ceci, shah, I want to keep mom too. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to show you a state where we are in. I mean, how can somebody come to me now and say she loves me? How now, in this age? What is it that I want now from you? And what is that you want from me in this age? I mean, it shows that it's a temptation. So whatever Satan is bringing now is what? The temptation. So you must stand with your wife or stand with your husband. I believe you're going to do that. I believe you're going to do that.